Hello! Get my windows where I want them. Tonight is Minecraft. So, I've got some plans for the factory, but, hello Theron. Uh, the plans are gonna rely on a lot of spider eyes. Burst, welcome back. One of the best intros you've seen on Twitch. Oh, high praise, thank you. Uh, I am not an animator, I'm a programmer. So I programmed it. That is all done in JavaScript. <laughs> That's just images being drawn onto an HTML canvas. Uh, off stream, I've toyed around with some of the other little side mods in this pack, such as backpacks. I've been needing extra storage space, but to get the backpacks, I needed string, and that's been a big issue. Hence, a nice byproduct of the spiders. Because now, look, look at all this extra space. The factory must grow. Let's do a little mini factory tour here. This is, of course, our main base, which just has, like, a few little gizmos for crafting as needed. Like our little, uh, our little wash station up here. No ceiling on the second floor. And the bulldozer the wall of drills that can self-propel itself through uh, through the mines. That's just for gaining, that's basically just for getting extra copper and lead and zinc and stuff. So let's go over to the main factory floor over here. Uh, so over there, we've still got our, uh, our kelp oil rig and that is just producing kelp for us. Uh, we are at tier two on this on this mod pack adventure, out of I think four before we get to space. So the full process is, uh, I've I've streamlined this now because I have cr I finally got crushing wheels, which makes sand production uh, actually manageable. Uh, so cobblestone generator here, grinds it into gravel, crushes into sand washes into clay and so this whole little setup right here is just a clay generator that's all it does is just slowly produce clay balls whoops i grabbed a bunch of junk i don't want so this makes clay you mix that with the kelp to make uh algal blend and then you cook the algal blend to get algal bricks which we have tons of now uh the the andesite is actually the uh the bottleneck here now uh so stone is being shipped up from the bedrock layer because the type we need can only be generated on bedrock because you know that just makes the mod interesting i like that uh you mix the andesite cobble with the algal brick and you get um uh, you get andesite alloy like right here, look at all that. We've got tons. Uh, this is, I get two at a time, so I've got this set up as like a cheap splitter. Uh, the factory keeps getting overstressed, which we're going to be fixing that soon, but right now it occasionally just locks up for lack of power. Um, the andesite alloy uh, is going up here to these deployers so that these slabs which are getting created from raw logs will get uh plopped on with these will get turned into kinetic mechanisms honey powered water wheels no although that it is we are having a little bit of a sticky situation with the power we could do molten metal water wheels now uh, so the kinetic mechanisms are made by adding the andesite alloy to these slabs. Whoops, I'm accidentally picking up all these uh, tubes, electron tubes that I don't want to pick up. Oh, wow. Cool. We actually have a lot of electron tubes now. That's good, because we need a lot of those for later. Um, these are all being self-produced. I'm not having to provide anything to the factory. It's just growing it all on its own. Molten metal is steampunk as heck, yeah. Yeah, it is. So this is kind of the production facility for the power line here. It's just wood. 
It's just wood. And what's supposed to happen is that wood and other thing... Uh, except we're not getting other thing because... Ah, what if we do this? That'll probably help this... That'll probably help quite a bit with our issue. This will probably help with the power quite a bit. There we go. Uh, so as long as these furnaces are cooking something, then whoops, then the attached uh, furnace engine will spin. But when the furnaces run out of things to cook, we get problems. And so I've not found a great way to keep this from backing up indefinitely. Hey. Dryer. So I've not come up with a great way to really prevent it from backing up, except for just make sure there's always wood available. So that's kind of a that's that's kind of an issue that needs to be addressed. Uh, which I'm working on over here. This is the prototype. Furnace inputs are are always going to be weird. This is the prototype. First, I need to sleep. I don't have a dedicated bedroom because we're always working on the factory floor somewhere. Uh, so this setup is a little bit cleaner and notably, I'm setting this up in a single chunk. I'm gonna try and def like build out the full factory modules in one chunk increments specifically because this mod includes uh, the schematic cannon, which basically lets you copy and paste areas as long as you have the materials and enough gunpowder to supply the cannon so it can fire the blocks into place. So my idea is, oh, we need more power? Copy and paste the power setup so that it's producing more power. Oh, we need more of X material? Copy and paste that section of the factory and just attach it to the line. So this is where all this power comes out over here, which is not spinning. Why is it not spinning? Actually, this would be a good thing to check. Why is there, why are there leaves down here? Did a tree grow? What? what the heck? Did a, tr did a tree grow down here? Okay, well this is all backed up. This is not cooking wood because no wood can go in because this line is backed up here. Okay, this is good. This is good information. See, ideally, ideally what we do is we just never do anything with the saplings or the sticks. I mean, yeah, that's the basic idea. Now, this is a modified, uh, this is a mod pack. So it includes lots of changes to the to the base game, lots of new items, new new blocks, new mechanics. Uh, but even the base game has some limited automation built in, which I like. I really like the automation side of things. And there's not there are some end goals in Minecraft, but you don't really have to do any of them. You can just kind of do your own thing. Okay. So it's it's backed up because it's not moving. If I do that, now the belt is moving again for a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to move. And that's starting to turn everything again. So it's overflow issues, really. See, ideally what we do is the fuel that we use is the coal. Only coal. That we, the charcoal we produce is our fuel, and the only thing we cook is the wood, and everything else just gets gar get, just gets trashed somewhere. That would be that would be the play. And then our then our only problem is, hey, what happens if you get so much wood that it can't keep loading onto the line? Because that's kind of an issue here is that this setup doesn't work if the conveyor is full of items. And right now I got a sushi belt set up. Like it's just looping around indefinitely. So when it runs when it runs out of space, it just stops. 
So I do need to come up with a better setup for that. Uh, but at its peak, this is going to produce 16,000 units of power per flywheel. I've got two here, so that's 32k. My entire factory over here that we toured is using, I think, like 18k. And it, that's running off of two flywheels as well. Uh, it's using, yeah, yeah, right around 18k. So I like the idea of having like a, a self-contained power structure that we can just like plop down, plug into our factory and be done with it. But it's not really working as needed yet, but we're getting there. All right, so a real technological marvel. Now, Theron, you played with us on the last time we tried this on a multiplayer server, this mod. And we were getting into producing gunpowder and redstone from garbage, basically. Uh, but we were hitting a snag. Uh, because in order to make, let's say, to make gunpowder in this mod, one of the ways you can do it is uh, pouring instant harming potion on cinder flour. Well, to make that, uh, you need fermented spider eye plus potion of poison. And to make the potion of poison, you need, uh, what is it? Yeah, you need spider eye with an awkward potion. Basically, the whole thing takes like two or three spider eyes to set up. And the only way to get spider eyes is spiders. You have to just kill spiders. That's it. There's no way around it. Just kill spiders. Any kind of spiders. The other thing is, for fermented spider eye, you're going to need brown mushrooms. And that's about where we got stuck. Me and Al were working on a setup to automate farming giant brown mushrooms. This mod pack actually adds something. Yeah, the deployer fists count as player attacks, and we can also equip them with swords if we want, just to make it a little bit more efficient. Doesn't matter. Uh, there is a way to turn brown mushroom into more brown mushroom with this thing called a phytogenic insulator, uh, which apparently just requires some kind of fertilizer, like bone meal, and a brown mushroom, and water, and power. Yeah, we automated the spider eyes, but we never got brown mushrooms fully automated. We were close. So I think what I'm going to do is set up maybe a skeleton grinder for bone meal, and then set up one of these things with, I don't know, some kind of power source to see if we can just produce brown mushrooms from brown mushrooms without a farm. Just basically throw it into this thing, which requires a redstone flux coil, lumium gears stained glass, dirt, and an invar machine. So lumium gear, that is built from what? Lumium blend, no, nope. lumium ingot, molten lumium. Oh, we can alloy it. Energi oh geez, okay, hold on. It's getting, it's getting ridiculous very quickly. Okay, lumium ingot. Is there, a, is there a better way to make that? Uh-oh, I'm getting a message. Do enemies come and try to destroy... Fly? Oh, there is a fly in my kid's room. That's what... I was like, is this like a Gandalf thing? Fly, you fools. Do enemies come and try to destroy all your stuff? Um, in, the van in the vanilla settings of the game, um, there are some enemies that... If they get close to you, they explode. Uh, but you can play without enemies just to enjoy the game in the standard way. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave you guys with this guy here uh, while I go deal with a. F Apparently, there's a fly in my kid's room, so I'm gonna deal with that. Be right back.
Dobbs Quest, Curse of the Terpeter will not be seen tonight. Enjoy this replay of a classic Dobbs Works animated episode, Dobbs Works, Reign of the Turf Lighter, already in progress. Turf Lighter. Hello, GQ. Hope you're doing well. How do I make this? This looks like it just comes down to making molten lumium, which is silver. Wh where do I get silver, first of all? Where the heck do I get silver? Um, and then energized glowstone. Well, well. Oh, I can melt down silver coins. I guess that makes sense. Raw silver? No. Um... Uh, where do I get raw silver from? Hmm. I think I hear someone. Hello? Anybody coming up? The last good night. Where, do I get, where, the, where the heck do I get silver? Silver dust comes from silver ingot. Silver ingot comes from silver dust. The system won't let me in. I guess the only thing is melting down silver coins. That's gonna be annoying. Okay. But that is for how we can grow. Uh, yeah, this thing right here. That's gonna be how we can grow more mushrooms easily. Oh no, that's inductive mechanism. Well, we are we are basically at chapter three, so that's okay. Oh boy. Oh no. This look. Oh geez, what is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that llama was going nuts. So every chapter of this mod pack is basically build this thing and then figure out how to automate the production of it. So first it was building these uh, kinetic mechanisms and then it was building these uh, precision mechanisms. 
And we've got a little side chapter we can do. But we don't have to. And then... Uh, we move on to chapter three. Which is getting... Getting a little bit more intense. Invar machinery. Oh, geez. This is what this chapter looks like, huh? Okay, so this is what I need to make infinite mushrooms without growing them. It is... Make sticks... Make sand. Yep, that's fine. Make cobblestone. Make crushing wheels. Jeez. By crushing crushing wheels, you create an anomaly. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. Okay. Making TNT automatically. That's going to be the reactor. Oh, boy. We have to blow up the anomaly to get... Oh, boy. All right. You know what? You know what tonight is about? Tonight's about getting the spider spawner. We're stealing a spider spawner. That's not going to be that big a deal. I'd like a skeleton spawner, too, if I can manage. Uh, so we're going to take a... We're going to get a lot of rails. Now, there's these wooden rails, and I'm not sure what they, what they do. They're just rails with planks instead. Wooden rail. What is a wooden what does a wooden rail do? Nice cosmetic look. Do they do anything differently? No? Because they don't do anything differently. So we need a ton of these. Which will probably just bring a lot of logs, so we can just make them as we go. Bioluminescent rail. Powered light speed rail. Oh, jeez, this stuff looks cool. But we're never going to know what it is. Uh, Alright, so we need a cart assembler. So this... Uh, this mod pack allows us to attach things to minecarts. Not just, like, entities. Not just, like, monsters, but, like, actual... Uh, just need t one of these, I guess? Um, like, attach actual uh, s sections of the world to a block. Or to a minecart. That's our plan. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, okay. I've got my mic. I've got, I got my backpack on, so I'll have extra stuff available as needed. Uh, we're going to... <sighs> Somehow... Alright, let me show you. This is the map. This is where we are. This is not vanilla. Vanilla does not have maps. Uh, we want to go all the way over to this orange one. Brick Dungeon. So we got two different ways we can do that. And the one that might make the most sense is just go underground. What is this? That looks cool. I want to check that place out. Bricks. Brick slab. Is that another one of these brick dungeons? Maybe not. I don't know. I need to check that place out, though. That looks cool. And this is a meteor crash site, apparently, because that's a thing in this game. Why not? Uh, I think we're going to use the bulldozer for this. We're going to build an underground tunnel. I can just show you how powerful this thing is going to be. Um, we're going to want to make a slight edit to it, though. Uh, in my green... No. Red toolbox, maybe? Do I have any more? I don't have any more deployers. Okay. We need one additional machine here to make this really work. Uh, how do you make a deployer? 
uh, andesite machine and a golden hand. Four golden sheets and an alloy. That's a lot of gold. Let's go ahead and make two of them. Okay, that's going to do that. Okay, good. Combine this with these to make our golden hands and combine that in the smithing table to create our deployers. We're going to hold on to one of those in our toolbox. The other one, okay, this thing here. We're going to get rid of this and replace it with a cheaper thing. Oh, wait, no, we're not, because then I can't filter out. Uh, hmm. Okay. We'll leave it as is, but... But... We're gonna use... What's green, fuzzy, and would hurt if it fell on you out of a tree? Tell me, turtle, tell me. I does is have to know. Pool table. But up, uh, up. Thank you, turtle. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted out of this interaction. Uh, okay. So the issue with this thing is that it keeps having to have ground under it, which admittedly is not like a, a huge problem normally. Like that is a, a normal expected behavior. Turtle, how are you doing? That's not the right spot. It needs to be here. Oh, this is a lot of stuff going on here. All right. Okay, deployer goes here with a cobblestone filter. At work. Oh. The people need their Halloween decorations. Okay, I think that's where I want that. Okay, and then we gotta make sure we glue it. Oh wait, that's the wrong direction. That is upside down. Okay. Then we gotta make sure we glue it to everything that needs gluing. Like that, I guess, and this, maybe. I don't know if that needs glue. That might need glue. Okay. We're going to see if that's enough there. Different work. Oh, well. Carry on then. Okay, I'm going to try and pick it up. Okay, it seems good. All right, we got it. We got the whole thing. We have the bulldoze, the bulldozer in our inventory. I got my toolboxes. Got my furnace cart. Got my cart assembler. We're going to start building a tunnel. But where from? Below our house? viable. We'll hit some rivers, no doubt. So we're going to want to go down a little ways before we do that. So let's just go for it. All right. So plan is we're going to dig down like, I don't know, 10 blocks or so. And you're going to see some serious uh, some serious digging happening automatically. Oh, I just realized I don't have the child Look monitor. This guy. He gets a game, doesn't want to do the mining. He gets a piano, doesn't want to do the playing. Turtle, you just don't have the steampunk appreciation for a player piano like I do. Trust me, they're they're amazing. I mean, it'll be more amazing when it works. Turtle, when you see it playing Macho Madness for the first time, 
you're you're gonna understand. You're gonna understand the beauty. All right. I will be right back. I have to go get the baby monitor. I guess it's, it's a child monitor now. Whatever. Monitor. There we go. That'll help me spot if anything is going going terribly wrong. It never does. Everything's everything's fine. Everything's totally fine all the time. All right. You will not be watching that. How about Gusty Garden Galaxy? How about Ducktales Moon theme? How about anything your heart could ever desire? How about the theme from Pixar's Turbo? No, that's DreamWorks. I knew that. What? What is going on down here? What are you guys doing in my good and perfect mining hole? And what does this do? What is this? Oh, right. That was. I know what that is. I know what that's from. It's fine. So this tunnel, this massive tunnel you see, was dug out by the Bulldozer. Okay, so we're facing north. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Now let's, let's do it this way. There's another one. Why do these zombies keep spawning down here? It's well lit. There's torches everywhere. What do you, where do you think you're coming from? This is why I need to get those mega torches that like prevent spawns in a like 50 block area or something ridiculous. All right, here we go. I need some coal. Where is coal? Anybody see any coal? There's some coal. This will last me. All right, hopefully we don't have to do any spider. Hopefully, thank you. Thank you for that space. Deep Lake. 54. Why 54? 47. Okay. We should go. We should get under it. All right. Here's our goal. All right. That's going to go there. Everybody ready? Everybody ready? Bulldobs are action. We're going to place it down. There it is. The entire Bulldobs are. We're going to place down the furnace minecart. We're going to feed it a little bit of coal, and away it goes. All right, here's the big test. Here's the big test. Can it go over a hole? Well, there's no hole here yet. All right, it's going to get a little loud. I need to test. Okay, I need to test if it can place blocks down here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, push it. Yes! That's what I wanted to see there. So this is the test positive. Ay, 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 ay. Right here. It's able to build a bridge with the cobblestone that it's amassed. 
Oh, look at this. It can't be stopped. It can't be stopped by a little thing like a massive death chasm. Oh jeez, that is a little that is a little dangerous though. Maybe I'll just uh widen this out a bit. It's fine. It's a, the crevasse. Oh. Ah, oh. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I don't know what you guys are so worried about. Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're all fine here. We got lots of torches on the way. The random skeletons aren't a problem. Oh, we're hitting an issue with inventory space now. This thing doesn't have enough onboard storage for all the goodies. Where are we? Okay, we've already gone quite a ways. Yeah, we're, we're getting close to a quarter of the, of the horizontal distance that we need. It is, isn't it? Like, the simple thing is, like, they give you a block that can break a block in front of it. They give you a block that can place blocks in front of it. Uh-oh. There should not be light. There should not be light. Why is there light? Is there lava? Is there lava? What's happening up here? Why, why are we going slow? Oh, you ran out of fuel. That's why. Nice. But why was there light? Is it this? Oh, that's why. Okay. Well, that's fine then. Download more RAM for it. <laughs> yeah, and then you can just kind of combine all that to be like, and you can attach things to a minecart. What if you attach a drill to a minecart? What if you attach something that places minecart rails in front of the cart and then scoops those rails up so it can recycle them? It's like, all right. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're doing something with it. It's a little noisy. There's some copper, I gotta remember that. I don't have a way, and I don't know if there is a way to just renewably get more copper forever. Iron, we can produce infinitely out of nothing. Oh, that's Creeper. That's Creeper back there. There he is. He exploded. Had to get him away from my, uh, from my, my big rig here. Copper Golem. Rest in, rest in pieces. Now, I need lots of copper because that is the base block for, uh, fluid management. Like, fluid tanks... Uh, pumps, spouts, pipes, water pipes and stuff. Which we need those for moving around molten metal. Okay, we're under the village now. These poor villagers have no idea what's, what's coming. this junk and normally like in early game it's useful stuff but now I can just produce it infinitely so it doesn't doesn't matter anymore like there's no point in me grabbing it so the last time I played create the thing I really wanted to build but I could never make work was basically a base built on a mining machine. 
like the base would move along as you travel and like you could pick a direction like mine north and then like a big drill would like start drilling into the wall and scooting the base along but the issue is that things that are on moving contraptions like this you can't directly interact with them like you can't open these chests right now they don't really exist in the world in the way that you could interact with them until the cart is reattached to the world i guess is the best way to put it my backpack I want more torches let's let's make a little bit uh oh water rip okay that is a problem that is a problem because oh yep we're going we're going sideways okay that's fine let's uh, plug up the hole All right, where are we? Not under the river. What is this then? Okay, just a little underground stream. We can work around that. Do I see anything good there? I see something like some kind of minerals that I think I might want. All right, let's dig a hole. Let's just empty out everything else. I don't know if there's like a a bulk. Can I just like bulk throw? No. I have to I have to drag it out. With all the different quality of life mods in here, you'd think there'd be something for better inventory management. There it is. I got a little crushed copper. What else? What else? Anything? Anything? Get this rebuilt. Get this ready. Is there something in there? There is something in there. And there's a lot of... Oh! Stellarite piece. That's important. That's, that's actually valuable. I think with that we can make unbreakable tools. Like, not like the unbreaking enchantment, but like never, ever break kind of tools, which is pretty good. If you can believe it, that is pretty good. Okay, let's get this thing back online, and then we'll deal with our inventory. One, two, three, four. Aim for the middle here. Off you go. Junk, junk. Chunk, 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 dirt. Eh, it's basically junk, right? There's mushrooms down there. Got some falling gravel landing on here. It's fine. All right, under the village. So we're almost halfway there. I don't know if there is a way to speed this up further because the dig speed, we really can't increase it any further. More death chasms. patched up. It does get a little bit loud. There's a fun little, yeah, we're having a fun little tunnel adventure, and all this is in pursuit of free spiders for life. You know, a prize that anyone would be happy with. Thunder? I'm 
sure that's fine. Ooh, copper. Ooh, ooh, wee. Okay. Minecraft vanilla does not have these broken stones. This is a this is a a really like jump scary addition. Like creeper hiss. I, I've kind of just grown accustomed to it. I'm like, oh, hiss, that means I need to turn around and flail wildly. But this keeps catching me off guard. It's stone with these little cracks in it. If you sneak over it, like like uh, stealth walk, nothing happens. You can break it like normal rock, but if you walk over it, it breaks, and then you fall down, and there's usually more of it underneath, and it's a, it's a scary time, because you might drop into a big cavern accidentally with lots of fun monsters. Ooh, this is a cool play. Where are we going now? I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the bulldozer just go a little bit ahead here. Ooh, there's a creeper up there that's getting annihilated. Oh, here we go. We're going sideways again. Hmm? Cashews? Oh, pachoo. Over to chat for a bit. So, all right. Why not? Yeah, come on in. Come on in. Everybody, welcome. Uh, welcome in. Hovercat. There she is. Hello. Okay, we have a little problem here. Okay, what's the problem? Um, my bulldozer is not waterproof yet. I haven't built a, a waterproof now? model. The bulldozer. <laughs> the, the automated tunneling machine. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, it is not waterproof. Oh dear. And so anytime it runs aground of... How do you waterproof it? Uh, ooh, well, the simplest haha, way is going to... There he is. Because it's not simple at all. Okay. Ow. Get away from me. Uh, the simplest way is as it... Jeez, there's more of them. As it mines forward, it needs to place blocks where water could be and then dig through them. Basically making a, a wall in front of itself and then attempting to dig through the middle of the wall, leaving an outer shell. All right, this party... Oh, okay, hi, you've got a friend. And my axe broke. Hit you with a wrench. Oh, that doesn't do much at all. Okay, okay. We need to regroup a bit. And there's a zombie behind me now. All right, all right. <sighs> I have so much materials here. And I don't have an easy way to, e to just filter them out. All right, there we go, there we go. That's good enough for now. All right, backpack. Get a couple logs out. I have a backpack now. Nice. Yeah, it is nice. Crafting table. A couple sticks of a couple pieces of iron. No, 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 no. Let's do an axe. Burst damage. I like the axe more than the sword. Interesting. It's a controversial opinion. Okay. Does a lot more damage. Oops, I covered up. Hello there, says Burst. Burst is Hi. uh Burst is new. He came over from uh the last Darkest Dungeon stream. Nice. Which nice. was a, f a good adventure. Uh that we almost lost. Okay. That clears out all this mess. Okay. Go ahead, just go ahead. That solves the problem. Okay. I don't know if he's saying hello there to me or the tiny zombie, to be fair. Uh, it was probably Based you. Based on the previous messages. So, adding light is actually going to cause there to be less monsters. Because monsters can only spawn in dark places. Really? 
Yes. There we go. So this place will be a lot safer the next time we come through because there's a lot less dark corners. There's still a few, but it's going to be better. Not great, but better. Oh. Well, that was an adventure right there. All right. Let's kick off let's kick off the the bulldozer again. Let's get it moving. Okay, line it up. Hey, you haven't seen the bulldogs here. Have I not? Yeah, you gotta you gotta check it out. It's great. It's the best. Everybody loves it. Bop, bop, bop. Off it goes. It goes. Digging a tunnel. I wanna get rid of all this junk. So wait, the function is just to build a tunnel, not to collect these materials? I mean it may collect like a little bit of like I'm getting some copper and iron and such, but that's not what I'm after in this instance. So what are you after? A tunnel. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's some valuable stuff. I don't remember what it does, but it's valuable. Also, the bulldogs are also very loud, so I'm gonna kind of let it do its thing up there. Yeah. Our goal is to get from our base to the brick dungeon uh -huh. where there are monster spawners mm -hmm. we're gonna break in and steal the spawners that's fun what if you find monster spawners before you get there what well you might find some before you get there while you're building all these tunnels oh you mean like just some random ones underground yeah i mean that'd be nice but I know that there are some at this place because I've been there and I've seen them. Gotcha. And it doesn't matter how close they are because I'm actually going to take them home with me. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. This is the Great Spider Spawner Heist Caper Adventure. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah, it's like a heist. Elaborate heist. Elaborate heist. <laughs> yeah. huh? Huh? Now, how we're going to get it back exactly, I'm not sure. One possibility is wooden minecart rails, which I could be building right now. Because apparently this mod adds wooden minecart rails. Uh, let's, give it a, let's give it a test here. After I eat some bread. Nom, 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 nom. Thunder. Supposed to tonight. Look forward to that. It's not distressed. Yeah, she's not gonna like that. Hopefully she won't hear it. Yeah, she might be asleep already. I guess hoping, but I don't know. It's still kind of early. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm gonna go snack. I'm hungry. Okay, get you some snacks. Bye. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, thanks for Anytime. These are quite nice. They're cheaper. Yeah, why don't we have wooden minecart rails? Just have it like, make it, make wooden minecart rails a thing in vanilla Minecraft, but just make them have like a different top speed. Like, so it's like, there's still a point to, to iron and gold. On it, that would be a great addition. I love that. Like, minecarts are fun to play around with, but they're a pain to get a hold of. Oh, we ran out of... Oh, oh. Ran out of juice. There we go. We are rejuiced. Yeah, there's a lot of very cool things in this mod pack that I think would would be at home in vanilla Minecraft. 
some things are way out there and like no that's very unbalanced do not put that in minecraft but wooden minecart rails yeah honestly especially if you could right click them with an iron rail to like replace them easily all right, we are getting close. We're about three quarters of our east to west distance there. We ran into a bit of a snag with that big dark room. But now we are making progress quickly again. Get rid of this junk. Open my backpack to grab more wood. We can make more cart rails. Boom. So easy. Quick recipe. Cheap. Feels balanced. Packs, as useful as they are, they they would they would unbalance the game a bit, and you would need some way of uh, of counterbalancing how useful a backpack would be, because having extra inventory slots is really really big. That's a big deal. But I like the fact that it takes up your your chest plate slot. That means if you're gonna wear a backpack, you have less. Uh... Oh, there's water again. Okay, that's a problem. That's a problem. Wait, wait. Is it a problem? Wait, wait. Get up there. Get up there. Come on, push it, push it, push it, push it the right direction. Oh, we're going in circles now. Okay. Break it. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Um, it seems like a skeleton died here. I see some armor pieces. Okay. Let's deal with this mess. Uh, let's go up here and plug the hole. Ooh, uh, okay, that's probably fine. There we go, got my minecart back. Yeah, this is good, this is fine. We can deal with this. What is the, what, what dropped here? Plate, chest plate. That's, a, that's like some good armor, it looks like. That looks like good armor. All right, let's drop all these in a hole. I kind of want this, whatever it is, but I have a backpack on, so I can't wear it. Balance. That's a balance thing. That's good. Okay. Uh, put you down. Put you guys down. Go. Drive. Okay. Yeah, a waterproof version of the Bulldozer would be nice if I just needed just tunneling. A little bit of a little bit of copper. Go ahead and grab that. And there's some more down there, but I can't I can't be bothered with going all that way. That's a little too far. Yeah. Right now, fluids are kind of the main issue. It's our it's our main weakness that we're gonna run into. In this little adventure. Uh, hello? We got something tough that we're mining through? What's going on, guys? Oh, we got it, whatever it is. Alright, current placement. Oh, we are close. Alright, once we get to right around here. In fact, let's go ahead and add a waypoint. I don't know if that's gonna actually work.
No, because I think it's going to be like... Point well, we'll see. I haven't played around with the waypoints that much. So we could add a waterproof version uh, for cases where our goal is just dig a tunnel. I, added, I made one version in my last attempt that was not only waterproof, it was it had like an interior cabin you could sit in on a, on a padded cushion and little windows where you could watch the tunnel as you, as you drove by. But you couldn't really interact with anything inside of it. That's kind of the weakness of these. That was a good one. Ooh, flooded cavern? Ooh, and we don't care. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, who, where? Who, where? Hello? Did I get shot at? By fish? No, oh. Oh, there's someone in front of the tunnel. Oh, well, I think he just got pushed off. Nope. Where is he? Oh, down there now? No, no, no. No, oh, that's fine. Whoa, that's a glitch. <laughs> okay. We were getting shot at. And I'm still not 100% sure where from. Okay, I might need to make another... Uh, another engine but this is the spot where we're going to start moving north yeah and this the version i'm on here does not even have trains uh it's an old version of create for this mod pack i assume there's some compatibility issues with the new version or something oh i hit some random randomium and i got a nice shelf Beautiful. Is that how you use a shelf? I don't know. Looks looks lovely. There are these purple blocks occasionally, and they just have a random thing inside it, and you never know what you're going to get. Okay. So I'm going to need to craft up one, two, three, four, five. And then a little bit of cobble. I don't play Minecraft for immersion, for what it's worth. But yes, it's a little bit out there. I hear a skeleton. I hear a skeleton. I'm a little bit worried. All right, we're good, we're good. Okay, contraption down. Go. Northwards we travel. Oh, cool. All right, stop, stop. We don't travel, we don't travel, we don't travel. We've, we've hit a snag on our traveling. Oh. I see. Huh. air. Neat. Big old chasm, and we're at the bottom of it. Let's try that again. Okay, uh, cart. Put the furnace back in here. Onward! Okay, and I gotta remember my, uh, my main mission right now. I need to be building these rails the whole way. What is this? Reed. I wonder if I can turn that into paper. Be nice to have another source.
Oh, snap. Big cave, big cave. Let's just back it up a little bit. Where did that crafting table go? There it is. Okay. Good. Light it up. Oh, geez, that's a all right, that's a lot, huh? Cool. All right. Oh, we're here. We're basically here. Yeah, we're in. We're in. Stop. Stop the presses. Oh, deja vu. I got some weird deja vu there. Okay. All right. We did it. We made it to where we need to be. What the crap? Bricks, cobblestone, polished granite, stone bricks, cobblestone, netherrack, granite stairs, coal, minecart. That's a good one. Furnace. Nope. So much stuff. Okay, got got that. Got our minecart furnace back. Okay, we need to li line up a safe trip back. Yeah, I see you, I see you. Gotcha. All right, specifically, this big area right through here is a bit of a problem. Yeah, look at that mess. Yeesh. So we're going to try and just wall this all off in hopes that they cannot find any path to get up here. There we go. That looks all right. All right. Next. Get these tracks down. We're not going to build a complete rail yet. There's a no zombie zone. Everyone must be completely alive. No half measures. All right, there we go. We'll stop the, right there. Uh, because we don't know exactly where the spawner is. We got to do a little bit of searching. Now let's try to avoid this mess of inventory. This will all despawn in five minutes. All right, we're in the dungeon. There are, I've already deactivated a few spawners just by f slamming down some torches. So we've got like a skeleton spawner over here, zombie spawner over here. <laughs> I 
You know what? You know what? Fine. Yeah, fair. Rubber duck. Ooh, wooden rails. I'll take those. Okay, any spawners over here? No, it looks like the... Well, what do we got? Just caves, maybe? Looks like a cave kind of intersected. Oh, hi. Got a Mr. Explody Man. Nope, nope. All right, yep. All right, you guys have a good day. I will leave you to it. <laughs> I'm on to your tricks. The thing is, do we need zombies? Do we need zombies? Okay, zombies drop. Rotten flesh. What can I do with rotten flesh? I can apparently make organic compost. I can make rotten leather. Zombified piglin charm fragment. Apparently there's zombie hearts. Uh, I can make a rotten flesh block. That seems that seems very nice. That seems like something I would definitely want. It's a storage block for my all my rotten flesh. I can cook it to make dog food. Along with rice, bone meal, and meat. I can melt it to make blood. What am I wait what what am I doing with blood though? Explain to me. What am I doing with blood? No 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 you're not getting out of you're not getting out of this that easy. What am I doing with a bucket of blood? Oh, coagulated blood. That is a that's a, a fill in for slime balls if you don't have those for some reason. I can fill a scorched lantern with it. Uh, I can make Oh, I can make uh, item parts, because this has Tinker's Construct in it. So there's some interesting things there. I can make a blood block. Bouncy, but not sticky. It's kind of gross, but okay. All right, what do I do with a bucket of blood? Anything? I can make blood cake. Cool, that's not... No. Why? I can make molten pig iron. Sounds delicious, does it? What am I doing with molten pig iron? <laughs> a pig iron ingot, which in turn can be made into a block of pig iron. Great. Piggy backpack. Use on a, use on a mob to pick it up. That could be really useful if there's like a weird, if I, for instance, if I wanted to make a zoo. That, okay, there's some value there at least. Um, huh. Uh, what other zombie items can we get? A zoo would be fantastic. That's something I, that's kind of on my Minecraft bucket list is to build a mob zoo, but in a modded version, Actually, I don't know if you guys have seen, this mod has, like, a ton of different birds. They're everywhere. There's, like, woodpeckers and, and cranes. Uh, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure there's owls flying around. We could, just, we could just scoop them up, build a bird sanctuary, all for Al. Okay, so we can get a zombie heart which is used oh for some fancy weird stuff what is this zombified piglin charm zombified piglin can't see you interesting oh you make spawn eggs with this huh charm belt okay so maybe maybe we'll take a zombie spawner we'll see some hooters Six, apple, 
is coal. Right, that controls that. Actually, I never actually looked to see how it controls that. Whoops. Ah, redstone on top. Redstone there. Okay, it's just a little bit of redstone magic. Mm -mm. No, no, I'm, I was ready for it. Can't get me. Can't get me like that. I'm too. I'm too good. I'm too ready. <laughs> uh, hmm. Why are there trees growing down here? Is that normal? I don't think that's normal. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. You're not getting. You're not getting. Not getting out of this that easy. You gotta explain to me why there are trees growing in this cave. Is this just a... No, this is something. This is not like a glitch of the world generation. There's something going on here. There's like glowstone down here. What kind of... Is this like a biome in this mod? What is this? I gotta be careful, because the last time I, I saw something cool and I wanted to investigate, uh, it was rigged with TNT and I exploded. No, actually, I, I heard the hissing and I congratulated the game on having gotten me as I fled, not looking back at the explosions, but the point is the same. I don't trust this mod pack when it comes to these matters. All right, right now we're just looking for a spider spawner and I know there's some like in the halls somewhere. Zombie spawner. Anything behind here? No. Got exchange, the, the exchange rate is outrageous. Why are there bookshelves? Anything hidden behind the bookshelves? Merely decorative. Okay. Hmm. Nothing there. There we go. Go nuts. <laughs> you do more damage if you jump. Yes, there is a critical hit system in the game. Just added. I almost said recently, but no, that was like almost 10 years ago that they added that. Uh, bricks. The idea is that if you land a hit while you are coming down on a jump, that extra that extra downward force uh, ups your damage a bit. Skeleton spawner. And we're back at our tracks. Okay, we got a zombie spawner right here. And a skeleton right next to our tracks. And there's, oh, it was right here. It was right here. Okay, good. This is the main one we're after, is the spider spawner. Dolomite. Feels a little soft. It breaks very easily. Okay. Yeah, we're after the spider spawner, but we will take these others as well. Do that. Let's get rid of this bit of torch here. Okay. Clear these out. Get out of here, bricks. I don't know if I can use regular, uh, or if I have to use regular cart tracks for this. I'm not. I'm not 100% sure. We will. We will find out in a bit. Oh, jeez. I jumped. I jumped. Where did he where did he come from? Jeez. Minecraft is a horror game. Mm, mm. No. 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 Don't. Don't. Ooh. 
I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. I got a lot of junk here. I should have brought a bag. crafting table with me anymore? I must have left it somewhere. That's fine. We'll make another one. They're cheap. Okay. Build a lot of rails. Where are the commands list? Uh, exclamation mark help should list all the commands that you have permissions on. The bot is all homemade, so... There's all kinds of fancy stuff going on under the hood with, like, permissions. And a lot of the commands need to be retired because they are related to my Mario Maker 2 queue, which I don't really play a lot of Mario Maker 2 these days. And then the inspect is, uh, we've got a, a, basically a gamble command in the form of like an RPG quest. Um, and in addition to winning points, you can win items, magic items. And the purpose of magic items is they do a command for free. Sometimes a specific command. Well, usually, almost always a specific command. All right, uh, cart assembler. Gonna need that. Can I put a cart assembler? No, okay. I can only put a cart assembler on regular rails. That, that I kind of expected that. That's fine. That's not a problem at all. Uh, I will need to make a... Uh, need to make a lever power it and then we're taking this this way okay good all those extra random items are gone now Okay, that connects to this, which that doesn't go all the way back to base yet. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna send the cart rails around here. Uh, this one here's the weird one. Okay, so we need to we need to prep for this weird one by doing go down first, then around, and then that. Okay, cool. I think everything's lined up here for our three. Uh, cart sets. Now I need to actually make the carts. There's the crafting table. Okay. Ooh. No creeper spawners, I notice. That would be too easy. Because then we just have free gunpowder. You did the funny number. Good, good going, turtle. All right, here we go. There it is. All right. We have our skeleton spawner attached to a minecart. Next step. It's going to be We're going to we're just going to have this little train Choo choo. gonna have to babysit it a little bit easy
Oh, geez, these are these are already making some distance here. And I'm pretty sure I can't pick these up, but I'm going to try. No. A mystical force is binding this cart contraption to this world. Yeah. So the idea is that if a cart assembly has a spawner on it, you can't just pick it up. Like, the bulldozer is easy. Like, even though it's this massive thing that has chests and items attached to it, I can just, like, scoop it up with my wrench and then put it in my pocket. But as a balance thing, I assume, I, th I don't think there's a technical reason for these working this way. I think it's purely just for balance. Uh, you cannot pick these up. Okay, they're just bonking into each other. That's fine. All right. So we can just give them a little, a little push, I think. Look at our little monster zoo here. Boy, this is this was an adventure, to be sure. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot more, uh, a lot more of these tracks though. Common bad luck curse. Uh, where did the skeleton go? Okay, there he is. Oh, you know what? I bet this would probably work just great. This would probably work really well for this. Um, ooh, but before we do that, I should probably go ahead and make a ton of these, uh, these tracks. That's looking better. All right, here we go. So I should be able to just plop some coal in it. Yeah, it's just gonna care. It's just gonna push these along. Yeah. Oh. 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 Choo choo. You know that. You know that scene from uh, Wallace and Gromit? It's basically going to be that. Yes! Cart couplers do exist on this version. Man, furnace carts get some serious distance on a single thing of coal. Darkest Dungeon Quest, The Cavern of Frost. And it was a disaster. Great. It's kind of rhythmic. That's fun. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Had a little bit of a derailment. Don't worry about it. All right, let's get these back on track. Ah. Just snap on. go there we go and this guy's already doing fine Jeez, they're already about to outpace the carts the uh, the rails again how far are we oh we're almost home we're almost home
Ooh. Now the thing is, I don't have anywhere to put these right now. Like I haven't already built like a uh, a monster grinder yet. So we're gonna have to actually do that as a separate project. Ooh. We're good, we're good. Creepers are spawning behind us. Let us leave this place right now. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. This is fine. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> cool. Cool, 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 cool. They started going the wrong way. And this happened too. Ow. Stop it. No, 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 no. Other way, other way, other way. This way, this way, this way. Comedy of errors. <sighs> okay. We ran out of cart tracks. I'm almost out of materials to make more. <laughs> if everyone could just not be a jerk for like five minutes, if these monsters could not be complete, complete and utter terrors, I would just be pleased as punch. I got all these torches in the like directly in the middle of the cave, which is not helping things. Alright, alright, I think I think we're safe enough now that we can just go to base. Why don't we have another car? Oh, because that's the mine. That's the furnace cart. Uh yeah, because I'm out of wood. So we're gonna come back for those. I don't think they will despawn. I don't think they can despawn. We're just going to run all the way back to base. Ooh, I forgot about this room. This room kind of sucks. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Okay. I'm being shot at. All right. I don't know what we're gonna do when we get here though. Like this is, we're under our base right here. So I'm just gonna kind of park them there and I don't know, hope for the best. Uh, let's, let's take a nap. Get some, I'm, I'm out of bread. Well, I've got, I've got three pieces left. I'm subsisting on bread right now because I haven't I haven't bothered setting up anything more advanced than just a farm that produces wheat automatically. At least I don't have to do any of the replanting or anything, so that's something. And there are more efficient ways to create bread from wheat in this mod pack. But I'm just not bothering. Okay, I'm gonna put uh I'm gonna put the bulldozer back up here where it goes. Uh, want this off. Boom. Red tulip. Boat. Weird, but okay. Leave the rails, leave the assembler. We are gonna bring this cart furnace with it. Is there agri- yeah, uh, vanilla Minecraft does have, like, growing crops, uh, wheat, carrots, potatoes, uh, there's animal, raising animals, um, you breed them with different foods, that's how you, that's how you get them to, uh, to make more animals. 
Oh, right, wood. And then they can produce meat or other useful products. Uh, chickens make eggs and feathers. Like, you can use feathers to make arrows. Um, sheep make wool, which is very useful for a lot of different things. Um, and then cows produce leather, uh, which is useful for a lot of materials as well as early game armor. Honestly, though, I've never been in a position where I was able to have enough cows to get leather armor before I got enough iron to make iron armor. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is there. It feels very unbalanced. But yeah, there's a there's a lot of different things you can you can get into. A lot of different systems that kind of all work together. There we go. That should be enough. Uh, horses, which you can ride. Pigs. Pigs are just for meat. There's nothing there's nothing strategic about the pigs. All right, let's start at the end here. We're gonna park them all right here. And then we'll we'll get them to a, a future location. Actually, not quite there. Let's go, let's go for right here. And then we'll find their final home. I'll have to actually build a container I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need, uh, what is it? Tinted glass? But this, this would have tinted glass. So tinted glass in this is just a way to be able to see through an area without affecting the light level and light level is what controls monster spawns. So if I want a room where monsters can, can be produced by a spawner, it needs to be dark but I want to see what's happening, hence tinted glass. How do you make it in this mod pack? Is there some different recipe? Because I haven't seen, uh oh. Oh, this doesn't have, this doesn't have, this does not have uh, tinted glass in this version. I guess this is an older version of Minecraft before they added tinted glass to the game. Ooh. Okay, then I need to figure out how I can see through or if there is a way to block light hmm yeah there's stained glass but that doesn't do the same thing um hardened glass quartz glass I'll, I'll research some of the other recipes to see if any of those fit the bill for what I'm looking for. Because I want to watch the monsters spawn so I can watch for problems if something's going wrong. There's also fishing. Which used to be a lot more valuable, but they, they kind of nerfed it a little bit. For the best, really. It was, it was quite overpowered. Hi, creepers. Bye, creepers. Oh, you know what? You know what? If I time this right... <laughs> Choo-choo! Now we're, now we're cooking with gas. That is a big cave. A lot of, lot of monsters down there. Oh! <laughs> no, 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 no. Not today. Get out of here with that. Oh, see, this is lovely. This is the way to travel. No, 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 Not this again. You get back on there. You get back on there. No. 
Why is that? It's like, I guess they're just kind of like bouncing back against each other. There we go. Got him. Okay. Well, yeah, you can just keep, you can keep dancing. That is fine. That is allowed. But we are going to clear out a few more of these. I'm going to put, I'm going to put a wall down of, there we go. Just to make sure if somehow they, they bounce out of here, they don't reattach to these rails and just fly off forever. And so they'll just get there. All right, uh, let's put down a few items of use. We're gonna throw out a treasure chest here and fill it with our extra planks. Uh, furnace minecart is coming back upstairs because I gotta keep that with the uh, with the old. All right, you know what? If it would stop you guys from bouncing, there. Thank you. All right, we got them. Zombie, skeleton, and spider. So, the next step, which we're not gonna do tonight, but I wanna at least think about it while we work on other things. <sighs> that was a, that was an event. I mean, I guess that was the whole point of the, of the stream was that one, that one piece. Put our deployer in this toolbox. Put the toolbox in the backpack. Yeah, we'll count, we'll count that one as a success, easy. Got a little bit of raw resources in addition. Some zinc, a little bit of copper, some iron, some monster drops as well. Got this wheat. <laughs> There's number one. It, there used to be a command that would list them all for you, and it no longer works because it gets uh, it hits uh, Twitch's chat limit, and it doesn't handle chat limits properly. I should add something to my bot code to do that, though. That wouldn't be hard to do. It wouldn't be hard at all. I'm actually going to take a look at that. Uh, okay. I got this hologram planet, and it says, put me in an item frame. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to I'm gonna put it in an item frame, but I need leather for that. And I'm almost out. The bot is not... No, the list is not on my Discord either, actually, now that I think about it. Okay. So let's... For the fun of it. Message processor. Send bot message does client dot send message and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if we call client dot send message but the message length is more than 500 characters I think it is how much are we hitting when I when I do this sound list uh, sounds there we go let me check the length of this text and make sure it's like just over 500. Yep, it's 508, that's why. Okay, so I'm gonna say, um, if message.length is greater than 500, message equals message.substring 0 comma 500. Can it take 500 exactly? Maybe? We'll see. All right, kill the bot. Build. Launch. What? Where's there a zombie? Is there a zombie in my house? Is there a zombie? There's a zombie in my house. Where did you... How did you get up? How did he 
get up here? What did you spawn on? I mean, I guess I don't have a roof, admittedly. So that's fair. Okay, let's see what happens if I do sounds now. Yay, it works. I fixed the I, I fixed the bot. It just cuts off if it hits 500 messages or a 500 uh, character message. There you go. So that's better, I guess. Ideally, look at that live coding, incredible. Ideally, it would paginate. Like it would show page one and then include a message like press exclamation mark sounds two for page two. Something like that. That would be the real way to handle it. What is this? I still don't know what the Stellarite is. And I've got five of them. Oh, that's what I need for the Eternal Stella. Which is used to make things last forever. Oh, no, 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 no. What? No, he's downstairs. Are you guys coming from my basement? <gasps> They're coming from my basement now. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't think these spawners count as active when they're attached to minecarts, but either way, I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna kind of block off that section of the basement. All right, I wanted to see what this globe was. That was the whole point, was to grab a little bit of leather, grab some sticks. Make an item frame, sticks and leather, and then plop this down and see what happens. Oh, I mean, I guess that's fine. I don't, is it, is that something I can craft or is that just a random, oh yeah. You can actually just make that. Interesting. Okay. Cool, that looks that looks very much at home in my steampunk house is a hologram, sure. We got it as a random treasure. We'll take it. Um this looks like pretty decent uh armor. So I'm gonna put that in place. Uh let's see. Six armor. That's seven yeah, that's a straight upgrade. So that's for when I'm not wearing my backpack. Bonus ducks! Bonus ducks! Yeah, this was our, our workshop, and it's gonna get replaced with a better one soon. Because this setup stinks. This setup stinks. And both of them really stink because we're just using water wheels for the power, and that's... That's putting out... Each of these is putting out about 200... So there's 800 power over here, maybe a thousand, maybe another thousand over here. 2,000 power for everything in the house. That's not enough. For the machines we need, uh, we're going to want one of these bad boys, one of these big powerhouses, once I can get the kinks worked out. Ah. <sighs> All right, let's let's theory craft on that because we might be able to fix it and have a, a working setup tonight. So, the problem we run into is basically back backloading. Like we we want to be able to drop off the wood into a series of furnaces, not just like not just like have the conveyor belt roll into a single furnace chute. We want it to be able to roll into multiple ones, which without doing something like a ton of like splitters, which would be really expensive, that doesn't really work. So instead, the way I'm getting around it is these funnels that are running parallel or perpendicular to it. And that only works when the items on the belt are moving which they can't do because we're backed up. 
So we need overflow prevention. I think that's that's really all it comes down to is we need overflow prevention on this. And I think we can do that with a stockpile switch. There it is. Brass machine makes two of them. Okay, so what this is gonna do is we can hook it up to a chest and when the chest is full, it can activate a circuit that could, for instance, dump a few items out of the chest. That would probably be the way to do it. Now, where can we do it? <laughs> That's the next question. Uh, chest up here with no, there's no room here because this line is running through here. Oh, I made this really compact to fit it in the 16 by 16 footprint. Um, put it here, maybe, and then stockpile switch, no. Put it here. Okay, that's viable, that might be viable. Um, bop, bop. Dupu. Who is Dupu? Why is he bopping? Okay, that might work, actually. Okay, I'm going to need to go get a stockpile switch, unless I've got one in... I don't think I do. No. Okay, stockpile switch. Um, we'll need to bring a little bit of redstone just to make some uh, inverters if we need to. Uh, we will need, whoops, give me that back, please. Fine, well, at least that starts things moving again. Uh, we will need, Brass funnel, yep, we got those. Because we can turn that on and off, I think. Right, can we? Brass funnel. Uh, let's ponder it. Uh, get to the bit about redstone. Place normally, yep. Yep. Okay, that's not what I wanted to know. I want, here we go, red, redstone. Redstone power will prevent any funnel from acting. Oh, not just brass ones. It'll also work on, on uh, andesite funnels. Okay, that helps. That helps a lot. Okay. All right, let's go get some brass machines. Cut them into a stockpile switch. I've got tons of andesite funnels. Have a good night, Burst. Thank you for hanging out. It's good chatting with you. We'll be back with Darkest Dungeon on uh, on Wednesday. All right, brass funnel, brass funnel. Uh, no, I mean brass, oh, here we go, brass machine. All right, turn that into a stockpile switch, or two. No, not that one. Stockpile switch. That is what I want, right? Tiles resident signal based on the amount of stored items. Yeah, okay. Now, I, I wanna make sure I'm not, hmm, ooh. Okay, okay, this is fine. This can still work. But let's also make some brass funnels as well. All right, and then grab a little bit of redstone. Not, I don't need much, just a, just a, a little bit. And then some wood for a chest. Don't dare it, no! 
what did I do? Oh, look at all that rubber. That's great. We're actually, we actually have decent amounts of rubber now. Just force of habit. Because if so, that's understandable. Well, apparently I need to do some Smash Brothers streams. Uh, my my five-year-old nephew has gotten into Smash Brothers and uh, his parents cannot find any decent uh, content to watch related to that. Can I put... Can I put a funnel, like, right here? No, because that shaft is in the way. Okay. Then maybe that won't work as well as I, ex as well as I hoped. Let's get up here and take a look. Okay, funnel is in line, or chute is in line with the ceiling. Ah, uh, yep, and then straight into that, huh? Well, and that's our main power, the main power shaft right there. So, oh, we can, no. Unless... Mm, well, yes, actually. I could move the chest over here, have the chute come down on that side, so that it's coming here, and then funnel out this way, funnel in this way, stockpile switch here, Controlling a funnel here. Okay, this is going to get messy, but I guess that's expected. All right, let's start making a mess. Oh, nice. <laughs> Might have already had one. Don't know what that one's for. Okay, we're gonna put a chest here and here with a funnel over it. We're going to move this chest. It's gonna spill out everywhere. Ugh. It's okay. At least we got lots of lumber. go. Okay, so that's filling into that. Then we are going to um, andesite funnel out. That's in the backpack, and that's in the blue, the blue toolbox. Okay, andesite funnel out, andesite funnel in. go so it can go in and then also yeah we're gonna have one of those attached to a stockpile switch okay so how does this work move to lower lane oh redstone power okay so turn the redstone on when it's well for now let's say Yeah, because right now it's basically empty. Right? Is that accurate? Okay, when it's on, which it should be on now, no? What's it reading? Did I face it the wrong way, maybe? Ah, okay, the white side has to hit there. Okay, got it. So that means it was facing the wrong way. So I need to face it like this. Yes, okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm in a closed room. There's no way in, no way out. I'm safe right now, turtle. I'm super safe right now. Okay, so this will release excess items. 
if this yeah okay nice so when it gets full it's gonna turn on and then it's gonna empty oh wait I need to invert there we go okay so it's just gonna dump that out on the floor until it gets to 66% empty I may not even need it, all this extra, all the extra funnels, which is fine. That might have been the entire fix right there, which would be great. Put that in the advanced toolbox. Alright, it is just emptying out right now. Okay, so that's the, that's the thing is like, is it going to, is it going to keep going enough to keep this thing moving? I can't actually see how much stuff is in there right now because there's a block above here, above the uh, above the chest. Is there any way I could kind of peek in there? no creepers up here. There's no creepers up here. You can't convince me that there are creepers up here. Okay, it just keeps filling up right now. But that is because, yeah, there's like more and more wood coming in. I took that out. I took that out and that out. Oh, it's because it's all coming from here right now. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so this stockpile switch is not affecting this one, though, right? Well, maybe it is. It's not going in to it. So I think it probably just won't. What was that? What was that particle effect right there? Should I be worried? Okay, it is emptying. Slowly. But that's doing something. It should be coming online soon with more more stuff. And so now there's another issue, though, because now there's the coal backup. We have we have coal coming in here, but there's going to come a day where there's too much coal. What am I supposed to do with all this wood? Like, I just don't know. Just load it up for later. Someday it'll come in handy be great if I wanted to build a big factory out of wood, but as it turns out, wooden factories are quite flammable. So I'm going to I'm going to try to avoid that if I can. All right, so we're going to get that other content observer out. Stockpile switch, different. It's a different thing. Uh, we're going to plop that right here. Oh, it, it has a little meter on how full it is. That's nice. All right. If it gets, if it gets 100% full, no, if it gets 98% full, there we go, that'll work. Then turn on and activate the andesite funnel. Which is basically just the get rid of this junk yeah that one right there oh wait no have it on normally right huh so right now it should be off which allows it to go 
Now it's on. Okay, so it doesn't. So here's a further problem then. I need to have a hole here, which I, I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah, because otherwise, if there's a if there's an item directly outside of the funnel, it just won't drop anymore. So you have to have that little bit of uh, breathing room for it. Which I really hate that that means I'm extending outside of the block I initially set up. There's got to there there must be a compact way to do this much better. Like, I don't know. I don't know, actually. Like, you gotta, if you're gonna do it in this much vertical space, you're gonna have your items at the top row falling down into. Uh, into shoots that are going into. Uh, going into furnaces. So it's like, you really can't have the furnaces any what's going on out there just a rainy day just a rainy day there we go so it, it changes and then what happens as a result Things still aren't moving. Is it taking stuff in here? It doesn't. It sure doesn't look like it. Where's that spider? There's a skeleton with a duck on its head. Great. Just what I wanted to see. Oh, right. Because somehow it's powering it, and I'm not sure how this is working, but... It's, uh... That on signal is transferring through the chest, maybe? Dang. How do you... How do you work around that? crud. This is not going to let any items in. See, now it should, though, because now... Now it's on. Right? Why can it not why can it not work now? What's what's preventing items from entering? Okay, let's let that happen. Oh, okay. It was just stuck or something. I don't know. Okay, well, that's... Oh, maybe that's why the stockpile switch was... Maybe it wasn't sending a signal. Okay. So right now... We are at on, which is blocking things from going out, but things are still going in. Good. Uh, so the next question is, can we wind up with a situation where, just due to, due to the specific items that are coming in, we still get a clog? Like, what if, what if I had a huge bunch of sticks coming in and there was no room to stack it in the chest because the chest had no empty slots. No, because the stockpile switch is set so low that it will always, it, like this amount requires an empty slot, which means things will always be able to get in or be leaving. 
Okay, and then this is set to actually empty this whenever it gets full. Just in the form of charcoal. Which someday can actually be, this charcoal can actually be piped out into usable places. But right now, it's just doing what it does. I don't like this happening. At all. I would probably feel better about it if it was happening in a shoot. Yeah. The shoot can still operate that way. It's like, I, I, it's still not great, but it's better. Alright, junk, 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 junk. I'll keep that one. There we go. I think... Oops. I left my shoots out. Okay. I think that is technically functional. Uh, this thing should be able to run indefinitely now. Again, I'm going to leave it running on its own for a while. The, the last test did lock up, which is actually good because that let me find the problem before I actually relied on this power system. Okay, next challenge. Is there an item in this that allows me to see through, uh, but does not let light pass through? An equivalent to stained glass, effectively. So what are these different things? We have seared glass, that's part of Tinker's Construct. That's, that's can be used decoratively. Quartz glass, I'm interested in. And I don't see, let's see here. Minecraft quartz glass. Nice clean appearance. But does it have any special functionality? No. Okay, how about this? Create above and beyond um, tinted glass. Oh. Tinted glass has actually been disabled? Wait. No. I don't know what I saw then. I don't know why that came in. Is there a block that... Is there a glass that blocks out light? Lapis glass? Nope. That's not part of this mod pack. Clear... Glass, dark clear glass. Dark glass. Dark runic glass. Uh, from Forbidden and Arcanus. Wait, dark, dark runic glass. Is there just a dark glass? Okay, what is dark and runic glass? Tell me, tell me. Don't just tell me what mod it is. Tell me what it does. Uh, dark and runic. What is? This is a this is a thing. Wait, can I ponder it? No. Oh boy. I just want to block out light. Right. I mean, it may not be possible but it doesn't feel like it should be this hard. All right. All right, we're going to figure out we're going to figure out how in the world this mod pack works at some point. Okay. Okay, I'm specifically 
asking about create above and above beyond tinted glass. No. Stained glass. I'm seeing a lot of those results. I don't think Google knows what I'm asking here. Uh, okay, I can see that quartz glass is a thing, but I can't see what it does. I, I mean, I guess I could make some. It's used for things. But... All right, dark runic glass. How do I make that? Oh, wait, I, do I don't? There's no recipes for it? Oh, uh, there's no recipes for it. Crud. Okay. Okay, what if I just search for glass? Organic glass, fused organic glass, arcane glass? Does that do anything special? It looks cool. See, I'm seeing a lot of stained glass. I don't think quartz glass does what I hope it does. Like, I feel like if something did, then I would be able to see it in the tooltip or something, or it would just be obvious. Okay, let's assume then that we can't do a light blocking glass. 